Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video and basically what that is, if you do not know what it is, is I'm going to be going through my purse and showing you what I have in it and what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis or on a regular. Sometimes it changes, for the most time, most part it doesn't. I basically just toss a bunch of crap in my purse. You will be surprised how much random crap is in there. But if you are excited to see what I have in my bag, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. Okay, so this is my bag. So basically what I'm gonna be doing, like I said in the intro, is going through and just basically showing you what is in my bag. That's it. The title says it all. Nothing crazy, I'm not burning nothing, I'm not cutting nothing in half, I'm just showing you what's in the bag. So this is my current bag, I actually just replaced this. I had a big light pink Michael Kors tote bag, but I wanted to try to do like a smaller bag and try to like cut down on the crap and junk that I throw in my bag because what happens is I always have like certain stuff in it but then it always collects junk. If you have a huge purse and you're like I am, you know what I mean, you have all kinds of stuff that's in there, trash, receipts, stuff that you don't need, stuff that can be getting rid of but it's in there. It's like a hole and it's just in there. So I thought if I got a smaller bag then I would minimize on things and not carry so much. However, newsflash, I'm going back to a bigger bag. I can't do the small bag. I think it's cute. I'll keep it for like when we're going out or if we're going like to dinner or something. But on a normal basis, I can't I can't deal with this little bag and I'll get more into it in the video. So um, uh, my husband actually got me this for Christmas and it is just a mini bag. It can be worn as a crossbody. Um, you can make it bigger or like the shoulder or how I do it, which is I just hold it like this. So basically, I don't know what the brand is. It was on the tag, but I no longer have the tag. And it's not on the name. Once I get in here and I kind of empty it out, I'll look again. But it has that same like plasticky material. I don't know what it's called. If you know what it's called, leave it down below. It's the same material as a Michael Kors bag, but it is not. This bag was like $20 at TJ Maxx. No lie. It's super cute. Check out your TJ Maxx. There was a couple at mine, so I can't promise you. But same material, like it's heavy duty. And this is like thick, like thick. So I have a bunch of junk in there. Um, I don't know, I'm hiding it, like I'm not about to show you, but it's thick and it zippers here. But the problem is I can't zipper it because I put too much stuff in it. So it also comes with a zipper on the outside, which can't really fit much in it unless you have like nothing inside. So I just have like my birth control in there. That's it. Um, it does have a design on the inside, which I'll go ahead and show you. And it also has these metal clips that are gray and gold as well it's just it really is super cute it's not super tiny like those little itty bitty ones but it is too small for me so let's get into it now that i have blah 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 you to death so the first thing is i always carry my keys in my purse um <laughs> my keys are like a mess i have like 80 million tags to stores that i probably don't even go to anymore and then on my keys I have a Disney keychain from Florida which I got from a friend of mine or old co-worker of mine that no longer works with me and then I got this um, little keychain right here which just says you are strong you are bold you are true and I honestly have no idea where I got that so but that's the first thing keys so the next thing is actually just my work badge and then I have lip balm. You will always, always, always find some kind of lip balm, lip oil, lip moisturizer in my bag, probably more, um, just because I have really, really dry lips. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. So I have to have lip balm like in my pocket, in my purse, in my car, at home, everywhere I can reach because if I don't have lip balm, my lips dry out really really bad and I honestly think it's because when I was younger I used so much chapstick all the time that it kind of my lips just stopped producing their natural oils so and this one is the organic EOS lip balm in sweet mint um so it's okay I just got it I don't really have a specific one that I like the most 
So then I have my wallet, which is a super cute little wallet. Um, I needed a little one because my old one was bigger and it obviously is not going to fit in this big, this little bag. So this one holds my cards and my license and has a buckle here. And then I might change in this one and like money or important papers, receipts, whatever in there. And this was $5.97 at Walmart. They had a black one, a pink one. And it's really cute. Like, honestly, I love it. To be fair, I carry that around more than my actual purse. Like, I'll leave my purse wherever and just grab my wallet and go. Because when you have kids or you're in a rush or you have a lot of other stuff, like, I carry my iPad with me, my notepad, like, a notebook with me at all times for, like, different YouTube stuff or social media or whatever. So it really just isn't convenient for me to lug around, like, a bag and then all this other stuff, too. And that's another reason why I think I'm going to go back to a, a medium, to a big or a bag so I could just shove my iPad and my notebook in there because the other day I was taking my iPad and my notebook to work and I didn't know where to put it I wound up putting it in my lunchbox so I didn't have to carry the iPad the notebook my lunchbox and my purse because this purse just doesn't fit things like that I have the iPad Pro the newer one so it's I think like 11 and a half inches it ain't fitting in here so then I have a pen, which obviously you always need some kind of writing utensil in your purse. If you do not have a pen in your purse, I don't know how you're living life. So we dig in here and these pockets are actually pretty big. I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is the KKW fragrance and this is the diamonds one. I think this is just called yellow diamond and this is the one she did with Courtney. But I think it's just called diamonds, but this is the yellow one. It smells the bomb i love it i literally am probably gonna buy a couple more of these because i'm afraid that it's gonna go discontinued and then i'll be really sad it was like 40 dollars at ulta <sighs> my husband got it for me for christmas and i'm telling you i love it love it love it love it sometimes i spray too much of it but that's okay so i have earrings enough said about that receipt two oh we're still in the tea <laughs> kid to kid and beller if you don't know what Kid to Kid is, it is a consignment shop, basically like a secondhand store that is solely kid stuff. I think they have maternity stuff, but that's about it. Um, it's actually really awesome. So if you have a Kid to Kid near you and you have not gone and you are a parent or an aunt or an uncle, check it the freak out. And I have another receipt, which is also Kid to Kid. <laughs> I spent too much money there. Um, this is what I'm talking about. Like... I just collect this random, like, what is this? This is a sticker for a tumbler cup or bottle. I don't really know how that got in there. I, I don't think I've bought a tumbler. This is embarrassing. I have a tissue. I don't know if it's used. <laughs> but I have a tissue. So, you know what? Because females, we don't have a lot of clothes with a lot of pockets. Okay, guys? Because you sit here and men's pants have you ever thought about this men's pants have so many pockets pockets on pockets on pockets what do we get we get fake pockets with fake zippers and nowhere to put our tissues so that's where it goes but it's kind of gross i gotta clean this stuff out and then i have cough drops i think i've <laughs> so i have cough drops because i am sick and then i have a chocolate covered cherry that I thought I ate all of them, but clearly one got away. If you have not seen my after clearance video, I'll go ahead and link it up here. I actually bought four packs of these because this is my favorite candy of all time. So if you want to send me something pretty, send me chocolates. All right, and so I have a pencil, a lead pencil, tanning goggles because I do go tanning. Um, I actually go tanning about once a week. Uh, I just started obviously because I had my daughter, but um, I go like once a week. It helps my eczema a lot. Someone had recommended it to me and I've been doing it before I had my daughter and literally it's the only thing that keeps my eczema from flaring up. I've tried every cream you can think of, except for steroids, they work, but they really just destroy my skin. So I have, this is a, SD card reader for the iPad because that is how I edit my videos currently. Um, the SD card is in the camera, so it's not in here. But basically what I do is I slide the SD card in there and I pop it into my um, iPad and then I just import the videos there and I edit it on that. 
Um, if you want to see kind of like a video on how I edit or how I film or both, then go ahead and comment down below and I will get that up for you guys. So we are getting into some papers. So this is an Excel sheet of all of my makeup products. Every last one of them. So the reason I do this is for um, renter's insurance purposes. So basically, God forbid, there's a fire or whatever, um, I'm covered. I have everything written down as to what products I have. I have it in categories like eyeshadow, blush, whatever, but then I have the product name, how many, the price per item, and then the total of how many I have. And then like every time I update it, I actually have to update it again because like decluttering, shopping, all that. And then I have the total cost of the whole Excel sheet, which is, it's embarrassing, I'm not gonna say it, but it's a lot. So I just wanna make sure that I'm covered. So then you go in here and I have, this is my son's free personal pan pizza for doing all of his reading for last month. Yay, Nick, you did great. We gotta take him to get that. And then this is just literally passwords, or not passwords, but account, like usernames for like my bg &E, my Comcast, and like, things that I pay my bills on so nothing fancy or fun and then I have some bobby pins who doesn't love a good bobby pin I need them all the time all right and then I have oh these are my prescription allergy drops for my eyes because I have really 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 bad allergies so I carry it around with me just in case my eyes start to get irritated um, and then the last in these two big, so I have two big pockets in this purse, a zipper pocket, a smaller zipper pocket, and then where the papers were is just this like folded area. So if you look here, it does have like a really pretty design on the bag. Like it's almost like it wants to be a super fancy bag, but I honestly could not tell you what the name of this brand is. So then I have a Morphe lip gloss in here. And this is in the shade Beach Goals. You will find now in about a second that I have a crap ton of lip products. I always have a crap ton of lip products. So in this pocket, I have an inhaler. I have some feminine products. I have some hydrocortisone cream for my eczema. Floss. Contact case because I wear contacts, because I'm blind. And another bobby pin. You will find bobby pins all over my life. My room, my makeup stuff, my car, everywhere. I lose them all the time. Do you guys lose bobby pins? Tell me this, okay? Because I swear to you, I'm buying a pack of bobby pins like once a month, no lie. And then nail clippers. Just let me know below if you go super crazy and have to buy bobby pins all the time, because I do. So then we're gonna go into the little zipper part in here. And then that'll be it because it's a small purse. So I have a L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. It's actually one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I don't have a lot of drugstore items makeup wise and I really like this one. And I always carry a mascara with me just in case I feel like I look sick or deadly or something. So yeah. <laughs> and then holy mother of God. I have so many lip products. So I have um Fenty Glow this is the gloss bomb by Fenty Beauty and it's in the shade Fenty Glow I have a Kylie high gloss which is you are the sun and then I have a Becca and Chrissy Teigen glow gloss and this is in the shade Beach Bum it's this one is more of a pigmented one it's pretty nude um, holy crap, I have a ton of lip gloss and stuff in here. So I have a ColourPop Velvet Blur in Lucky Strike. And then I have another gloss bomb, which is Fussy by Fenty. Let me take these. Like, what is happening? I have a compact mirror, obviously. I have a random lip liner. Oh, it's a nude one. So basically what this is, is just like a, like the mascara. I need to have it on hand just in case for whatever reason I feel like maybe the color is flushed out of me or something, you know, giving my lips a little bit of color. Kind of brings me back to life. So I use this and any of those glosses will go over top of this perfectly. And this is in the shade Bare. And yes, I do always carry about six to eight lip items 
because I don't put them in there like intentionally like oh here's six of them to last me what happens is I wear a different one every day and I put it in my bag to take with me to work and I just never clean it out so by the end of the month I've got like 20 or more lipsticks or lip items in my purse so I always carry around a little moisturizer and this is just an uh, um, sample of Drunk Elephant's moisturizer and I believe it is yeah so the protein -y polypeptide cream it's actually really really nice but the only reason I'm carrying it is not because it's like a favorite of mine or something it works really well but it's because it's a sample I have a crap ton of samples obviously I shop a lot so Sephora and Ulta I get a lot of samples and so those are perfect for purses and traveling so and this one is the Laneige sleep care sleeping mask in mint cocoa so I have the bigger one of this um it's a pink one and I do use it all the time however the bigger one's just a lot to carry I'll go ahead and show it to you so this is the bigger one versus the little one that came in the gift set and this is just a lot easier to carry around with me it's a lot more lightweight so I like that and I have to have it with me at all times because it's really really nice on my lips so I'm having if I'm having like really severe chapped lips that's what I go to so that is it that is all that's in this bag if we were doing my bigger bag we'd be screwed because we'd be here all night so other than that i mean sometimes i'll change it up makeup wise i might have like my brow products in there or something a setting powder but nothing crazy for the most part my purse contains trash receipts books like notebooks a crap ton of lip products and some necessities i could probably go without a purse honestly because it just carries junk but i feel like i would be lost like one of my like limbs are missing so if you carry a purse tell me something that you absolutely positively have to have in every single bag you carry so if you switch over your bags what is one thing where you're like oh gotta have that mine is lip items i have to have lip balm chapstick lip gloss some kind of lip item in my bag like you will never find one of my bags not my diaper bag not my school bags not nothing without a lip item in it so let me know below what your item is and what you have to absolutely have at all times and as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't cool give me a big thumbs up anyways because it really helps me out i'll see you on the next one bye